Well, this is an interesting start to February sneaker releases. We have two fire Jordan 4s dropping in the same week on a Thursday and a Saturday. Something doesn't seem right. Will one of these get pushed back? What's going to go on? Guys, in today's video, we're talking about the Jordan 4 Crafts and the Jordan 4 Seafoams. These are both loaded up in the same week. And tell me, when's the last time we saw two Jordan 4s, especially that look like this and the hype behind them, drop in the same week? I don't know. Let's go over this. I'm going to give you my thoughts on the shoes. I'm going to tell you where to buy them, where the raffles are open, and what your best chances are in getting this shoe. Before we get too far into it, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, boys and girls. Wonder and like, wonder and comment. We'll get a $15 cash up for me. All I gotta do is follow my social medias. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So starting off, we're talking about the Seafoam Jordan 4s. Now, this is a women's exclusive, meaning it's only gonna go up to a 10.5 men, which is a 12 women's in sizing. Now, these are set to release on February 9th on the Sneakers app at 10 a.m. Now, it's not only going there. They are set at a retail price of $200. I'm going to go over some of the sites that actually have them loaded. There's lots of raffles out for these right now, so this is really looking like the one that should be dropping. Uh, Photon Dust, not so much, or the Crafts don't have as many raffles, but we'll go into that later in this video. So, one of the first stores I want to talk about, which I don't enter very often, is Rennert's. Now, this is just another place that you can enter. They're charging $200 for this raffle does end in five days. The more raffle entries, the better. The better chance you do have grabbing this shoe. I I don't enter very often, but I will on this one because I know it's going to be a little bit harder to grab these shoes because I'm not seeing them go everywhere like we normally see them. So enter on Renner's. Another one that everybody ends up entering. I enter almost every single time and I have yet to actually get a pair as end, end clothing. Now they charge like $215 retail, then plus shipping. It is an EU site. Their raffle is open for the next couple of days. It's really easy to enter. You set up an account. They do take, they don't take your money when you do enter, but they will get all your credit card and stuff. And if you do win, it automatically charges you at the end of that. So just know when that ends on end, literally, they will charge your card right away if you are a winner. Now, one that is super limited, uh, I noticed none of my stores here in Indiana, now this may update at a later time, is Foot Locker and Champs. Now, they do in-store raffles and ship to me. Champs is allowing the ship to me option, which I recommend you all entering on. And a crazy thing is, this time, we saw them allow us six head starts. That's brand new to this. It's usually just four head starts. I don't know if that's a glitch in their system or if that's a new thing they're doing. They're really trying to get us to eat up our FLX points right now. But enter at both of these places. Let me know down below if if your store in stores actually have these, it, nowhere in Indiana right now has them, and I only saw up to a size 10 on the in store option. That's showing that the shoe may be limited at some of these stores we're going for. So the more limited they are, you know how it's gonna be, man. It's gonna be harder to grab these pairs. Now, one of my favorite favorite places to grab all shoes, I say this all the time, will be JD Sports and Finish Line. Now, they should be doing exclusive access next week. We expect them to do in-store and ship to me options. Since these drop on Thursday, I would expect it to happen Tuesday for in-store and Wednesday for ship to me. Now, they've been changing their times when it comes to their uh, exclusive access, so just be watching. Of course, if you need help with that, kick notify. We will notify you the night before if we do know about it and when that's going to happen. So don't worry. If you need drop updates and all that, we got you right over there. There's some links down below if y'all want to join. But back to JD's sports and finish line be ready for this man the queues are crazy i'd be running your phones your laptops all of it when you're trying to get through these queues because whatever it takes if you're running on your phone run on lte and if you're running on your laptop do wi-fi running at two different ip addresses has your best chance of getting through that queue faster i know a lot of you guys struggle when it comes to getting through that jd sports and finish line queue uh so just know it will do that and it will cost you two thousand status points so if you don't have two thousand status points on your jd sports and finish line account you may want to go buy some stuff now if you really want these sea foams um there's a chart on how how many points you do need i'll put it up on the screen right now just so you know how to get to how to get your points how you do get points and how to get to a list because i think you all need to be on that a list before this year starts we have a lot that's going to be dropping you're going to be on that a list to get all this exclusive access and of course the more money you spend there the more discounts you do get overall those are the sites we're seeing for our seafoams i wouldn't be surprised they load up on shoe palace shoe palace does do in-store raffles on tuesday so it'll be next tuesday the february the 7th if you do have shoe palaces i recommend you guys go in store put in your footwork they do in-store raffles a lot of you guys are like, what are in-store raffles? You go in, you give them your name, you give them your number, and the size you want. If you win, they say they call you up. Yo, what's up? You want a pair of seafoams? Which is amazing. I wish I had shoe palaces. Unfortunately for the Indiana boys, we have no shoe palaces around here, so I don't get to go. And that is overall where you should be seeing these shoes. Like I said, we may be seeing them load up at a few more sites, and I'll keep you guys up to date. I do live stream every single day, so I'll keep you guys up to date if they do load at any more places closer to drop time. Now, let's move on to the shoe that I love. I love the crafts, the Jordan 4 crafts. I personally think these are going to perform better than these sea foams, but I know there's a lot of mixed opinions. Let me know down below. Do you like sea foams more or crafts more? These are set to release on February 11th, which is next Saturday, coming in at $210. This is actually labeled an SE, so we'd expect this to be more and more limited. Now, they are loaded a few places. Uh, SNS does have this pair. SNS, SNS has both 
uh, sea foams and these. I forgot to mention that earlier in the video. So SNES is a good one you can go enter on your phone. Super, super easy to do. You just go download the SNES app. You hit sign up. They have your credit card information, all that. They will send it to you automatically if you do win the raffle. So that's another good place to go. Feature has a raffle open for this that does end in seven days. They're charging $210 as well. Feature, you just give them all of your info, sign up, normal raffle links. That's another place you can be going to because like I said, more raffle entries, the better chance you have. And this was Load on Shoe Palace. So like I said earlier, be expecting next Tuesday the 7th, there's going to be a lot of in-store raffles over at your local shoe palaces. Go over there, put in that footwork, man. These two shoes, Seafoams and Crafts, are going to do very, very well. Unfortunately, they are releasing in the same week, which may hurt resale value, but that's fine. Over time, they will go up, and they're two great shoes to be thrown on foot. I'll be personally putting the Crafts on my toe because I personally just love the shoe itself. Let me know down below if you're going to be wearing any of these shoes. But expect the Crafts a little bit more places if... They don't get pushed back. I just have this bad, bad feeling that one of these two pairs are going to be getting pushed back. There's a lot of heat dropping in the same week. There's a lot of heat all around in February, which is amazing. It's fun to see everything getting back and building up. And, and it just it's good to see the shoes rolling again. I know we had a slow time through January, but February, the heat's coming. March, all of it. It's going to be a great, great time. So overall, guys, I hope this video did help you guys with all of this. I named all of them. Go back to the video. Make sure you enter every single raffle I mentioned. If I did miss any raffles, all raffles will be posted in Kick Notify, like I said. We always post all raffles for you guys to enter. Just we make it nice and easy. We put it all in one spot. So we watch our raffle links within there so you don't miss any of the raffles. Um, overall, guys, let me know what you think about these two shoes. And let me know, do you think one is going to get pushed? I personally think so, like I've been saying throughout the video. But let me know which one you think. I personally think the crafts are going to get pushed back to a later day. But just let me know down below. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope it was helpful, like I said earlier. If you have any questions for me, guys, just follow my Instagram down below. And I'll respond to each and every one of you guys. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Want to like, want to comment. does get a $15 cash app. I got you. You know, I, I got you just for showing love. That's it on this one. I'll see you guys on the next one. Not here. Peace.